Good morning, Barons. On today's episode, we'll see what's going on with Green Club. Watch what Granger's gotten into this week. Check in with another busy week of playoffs. And check out a promo for Legally Blonde. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmer. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC, BCC TV. TV. What's been going on in the news, Jay? Well, Abby, on Sunday, a shooting at a Texas church left over 20 dead and 10 critically injured. This tragedy comes just a month after the Las Vegas shooting. The Queen of Tejano music, Selena Quintanilla, was honored last Friday when she finally received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Before her early death, Selena was breaking concert attendance records and her albums were at the top of the music charts. New Zealand's new leader wants to kill off carbon. The country aims to switch their electricity grid entirely renewables by 2035. Julie Briskman, an employee at Acoma LLC, was pictured flipping off the presidential motorcade as she rode her bike. The photo went viral, but resulted in her being fired because she had violated her company's social media policy. In BCC News, multiple scuffles have broken out a week and a half since the student's hat was flipped off at a hockey game on Halloween. The WJ BCC incident has made some national news outlets, and a video has circulated over social media, reaching over a million and a half views. In other, less aggressive news, today is the beginning of the second quarter. Nothing says congratulations for finishing the first quarter like come back to school on Friday after a half day. The leadership class is partnering with our department to create an environmentally inspired mural. Submissions will be taken through Wednesday, November 15th. The winning design will be featured on the student lot wall. If you're interested, please email mdelaire22 at gmail.com and they will send you the information. Come out to Tatler's Sports Journalism Night on November 15th from 7 to 8.30. There will be speakers from ESPN, The Washington Post, and NBC Sports Washington. The fall musical, Legally Bond, debuts on Thursday the 16th and runs through the 18th. Mark your calendars and come show your support for our amazing theater program. Let's watch a promo to get us excited for the play. You uncultured swine. It's a musical. Everybody's seen the movie, so I'm assuming everybody knows what Legally Blonde is about, but just in case you weren't sure. Legally Blonde is about a woman named Elle Woods who is dumped by Warner. When he breaks up with her, she's devastated, and so she goes and follows him to Harvard. And kind of inserts herself into a very different world that she is not usually part of, the world of law, basically. And in the process, she realizes that she's smarter than she always thought, and she takes on the challenge of being a law student, boyfriend or not. What's your favorite part about being in the production? Uh, my favorite part about being in Legally Blonde is the acting, because it's a, such a fun and exhilarating show that everything is so over the top, and every you know that every single moment in the show is going to be exciting. The dancing, I would say, is the best it's ever been while I've been at BCC. The choreo is sharp, it's, it's um, as fast-paced as the show is, and it's a really good time. It makes everybody want to get up there and, and try it themselves. The characters have a lot of levels to them. They have a lot of different personality traits, and I think you look at Elle Woods in the beginning specifically, and you see her as sort of like an archetype, and by the end, you see her as a human being, and that's really, really cool. The songs are really high energy, uh, really bubbly, really fun, uh, anything that you'd expect from Legally Blonde, and they're just a lot of fun to sing, a lot of fun to perform. They're really great, yeah. What will the audience members love about the music? What can they get excited about? Um, it's actually, I think for newer kids who've never been to a BCC musical, I think it's fun to know that it's actually like people down there who are playing it and not just like a recording in the background. Yeah, it being live always makes it better. Yeah, and also just like on the music itself, it's kind of like preppy and like uh, pretty fast, so it's not something so deep that you have to like feel sad about. It's kind of happy most of the time. Tell me about the sets. Oh my gosh, the stage crew is absolutely phenomenal. And I think that, um, no matter what, there will be something that will always be catching your eye. If you're not looking at the uh, cast, you're looking at the wonderful sets. Come see Legally Blonde next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Please. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You're free. To all of our talented actors and actresses, break a leg. Hey, Jay, I'm looking for a new way to get involved in the school. Do you know of anything I could do? Crazy you asked that, Abby. I actually have a promo for the Green Club right here. I think you'll be interested. Let's watch. God, I don't know what I'm 
I'm going to do for my BCC TV segment this week. I mean, last week's yarn club was so good. I'm, oh god, I don't know how I'm going to beat that. If only there was like some club that I could... BCC TV needs to do a segment on Green Club. We need to save the earth before it's too late. All the plants and the animals are dying and the fossil fuels are going to ruin everything. I joined Green Club my freshman year and was a member until junior year when I took over as leader with Nicole. And I've been a member since freshman year as well. Um, my sister was the leader, so she got me involved. As a club, we just really want to promote sustainability in BCC and spread awareness for different green initiatives and different ways that people can be more sustainable. We just want to create an open community for all BCC students and teachers too, um, to feel welcome and like that they can make a difference. We have a composting system set up throughout the entire school, so we have a bunch of compost bins that you can place your um, finished produce in that we cultivate compost for the greenhouse for. We also hold Green Week the week before Earth Day. Um, we, it was our first year doing it last year. Um, we coordinate with the leadership class and we ha hold different green activities throughout the week like showing documentaries or planting seeds. And as a member of the leadership class, we also do trail cleanups on the Capitol Crescent Trail. Uh, just this past Saturday, um, I participated in one. It was a lot of fun. Uh, keep an eye out for more trail cleanups to come up in December. You can find Green Club in room B318 on Wednesdays at lunch. <laughs> if you would like to join, come to Mr. Sachs' room on Wednesdays at lunch. Abby, I need some like new lingo to scream in the hallways to show my undying barren pride. I well, there's always skull rons, roll rons, and my mm. personal favorite, roll barons. Yeah, but when you say those, you're actually appropriating my BCC culture. Jay, do you even know what BCC culture is? No, but you're still appropriating it. Like, I really sorry. don't think that's right, but okay, Jay. Maybe Granger can clear things up for us. Granger? We're all, okay, that's, that's, that's strike one. Try, try to get it, try to get it, try to get it. What do you think BCC culture is about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over here. All right, BCC culture, what does that mean? What does BCC uh, mean to you? The people, not the place. Uh, spirit. Um. Not, not. I just put in, put in my hard work, the grind for the school, you know. And it looks so dumb. But that's BCC culture. culture. So looking stupid is BCC culture. <laughs> I can attest to that. Get on Ben's head. To the place. Yeah. You guys know it? Yeah. Hung West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Okay, when you walk into BCC, what do you think? No. If you follow no, my thanks, man. seven trials. Howdy, Captain. The Jaws theme song. It's like, yeah. you're like this third person to say that. What What is a thing that we do in BCC that no other school does? What They, they have this game called Who Can Be the Biggest Idiot? Where they, where they throw food at each other and then punch each other. I love these, you just like... Now, you can't see that at any other school. That's just a specifically BCC thing. This is uh, the, the excavation from the Fossil Club. It looks like they're digging up a, uh, a good old triceratops. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's very so nice. Oh, oh, oh. You come here every no, week. Okay. okay. Every week. Uh, okay, every all right, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Oh my god, I'm leaving. Those people are weird. What have we learned on this episode? Well... It's sometimes it can be hard to say. You can you can deconstruct, you can reconstruct, you can unconstruct the building. We can have no building, but we'll still have BCC students. Thanks for that, Granger. You always do it for the culture. The Bethesda Chevy Chase Area Crew Club has had a great season so far. Here's a quick montage of their team and their hard work.
Congratulations on having some of the best upper body strength at BCC. Now let's throw it over to Maya and check out what's been going on with Barron's Athletics this week. Hey Barons, we have an exciting week of sports as our fall season comes to an end and many teams advance to playoffs. Field Hockey had a nice playoff run as they beat Whitman 1-0. After advancing past Whitman to reach the regional championships, BCC faced Churchill. The Bulldogs beat the Barons 4-0, ending the team's seven-game win streak. And it's season. Our girls finished the year with a 10-5 record. Thanks for a great season, Barons. Our girls volleyball team beat Whitman 3-1 in a thrilling game on Monday, but then fell to Churchill 3-0 on Wednesday. Thanks for a spiking season, ladies. In cross-country news, the boys team won regionals, beating Whitman by just one point. As a result, they will advance to the state championships. In addition, Adam Nakasaka won the individual regional title with a 16-26 time. The girls team finished fifth overall, enough to qualify for states as well. Congrats, cross-country, and good luck at states. Football also ended their season with a 52-0 loss to the Northwest Jaguars. Thanks for a long season of hard hits and touchdowns. Girls soccer's playoff run started with a good 4-2 win against Churchill, but then ended with a hard-fought 2-0 loss against Whitman. Congrats on a fantastic season, ladies. On the other hand, our boys soccer team defeated Whitman and Churchill, finishing both games 2-0. This advanced them onto regionals where they played and crushed the Gaithersburg Trojans and beat them 3-0. Make sure to congratulate the boys and wish them luck at the state semifinals this Saturday against Sherwood. That's all I have for Barron Sports this week. Back to you, Jay and Abby. Thanks, Maya. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high, BCC. And keep the sandals in cold weather low. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmer. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. Congratulations on having some of Michael. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Samantha. Samantha, I'm so so sorry. I'm so